Alicia Juarez, Autumn Knuckles, Jamila Lockhart, and Mark Stone. Please begin your presentation. This piece is called Inclusiveness. Our voice is poetry. Some people try to understand me. Women, words, and me. Our compassion sets us free. Out with the old and with the new. Tell myself that I'm a mega. Some of it will say to you. Dear JCBS, you're giving us a place to spread our wings, to get out of our homes, heads, and comfort zones, away from the family battles, the battles we face with ourselves, and away from stagnant habits. You're providing us with an education, but we wish you would show us things students aren't normally taught. How to love. How to accept each other. How to learn from each other. And how to become who we want to be. A mental health counselor. Rather. A motivational speaker, among other things. A criminal justice lawyer. Learning is more than a curriculum. There are standards we won't remember learning. Skills we won't remember you teaching us. And valuable things that you didn't know that we did. I need a pen, a pad, or a composition. Got to team of all-stars with an opposition. We about to spit some knowledge, homie, time to stop and listen. I got a dream, Dr. King, they won't stop the vision. We're all students, everybody, we all stand united. united. Different cultures, different colors, though we're not divided. divided. Both some rats, big wolves, though we're not excited. Everybody got together and they got behind it. Bringing motivation. Yeah, we on the mission. <laughs> Bringing people together, block out all the division. All of us are here to share and learn from each other. To become the leaders that we need to be. We are representing students from many countries. China, Congo, Mexico, America, Africa, Asia, Syria, from all over the world. Students like us coming from disoriented neighborhoods. Diversity in our surrounding, outside our homes and our community. We stand strong. Homie, I done seen it all. Shout out all the dogs. All the homies hustling, selling drugs above the law. Yeah, I'm seen without a flaw. Viewed as a role model. About to be a star. Got my foot up on the whole throttle. Never stop it. Cause my homies on the corner all are really smart. Make one mistake, can't get another start. To be shot, break the flip, turn into an art. Now the story's being told, coming from the heart. You see, we started from nothing, so we did something about it. Trying to make it out, don't really care if they died. it. Been around the shootouts, really glad we survived it. But that will never stop it, cause we'll never allow it. Dear JCBS. Let me take you behind the scenes to the movie Our School Life. Behind the scenes, students are the main actors in our school. They put masks on their faces to hide their true selves as they walk on their stages and act like something they're not to be known as cool. Students are doing eight-hour shows five days a week. That's the main reason we're tired. Our jobs are never ending. We're trying to impress everyone, but behind the scenes is not as picture perfect as it seems. We struggle not just to find ourselves in the school, but we're discovering passion. And I faced so many struggles. I wanted my thighs to stop touching. I ate and I felt ashamed that my body called for hunger. I told it to shut up, but hunger's cries are loud. So I ate till I suppressed the cries of my hunger rumbling in my belly. And eventually, the shame and the guilt would try to win. But I took a look within, just like we all need to do. Read ourselves like a book, stare in the mirror, change your reflection. Look at you, baby girl, you are blossoming. You are beautiful and you can remold the shape yes. of your clay. Look at that grin, how genuine that smile is. In order for you to soar, baby girl, you need to fly above all the yes. types people put you in. We've captured diversities. Many cultures, many students stood on one stage fighting for social justice. Who expected inclusiveness to be the new trend? It's not only in our schools, but our communities. Diversity, different individuals. Valuing each other. Regardless of skin, intellect, talent, or years. Our personal struggles. <laughs> Behind the scenes, I've always been full of rage. See, school has not ever really been my thing. I don't have a written script, so I always say what comes to my brain. No filter, so everything's unfiltered. They go built up in my issues, in my mental. Rage flowed out of me. Every, thing, every time something came to my mind, anger was the director of my lines. I felt like the antagonist in everybody's story. Because I always seemed to change the beginnings, middles, and endings. Changing was hard. I once was a bully and I didn't even know it. But I molded myself into a poet that grows herself as she grows her life. She's grown herself into an infant. Though at times rage tries to consume me, I remold myself into a different figure and cut away at the rage. I remold myself. See, I face battles with myself. Insecurity, rage, disappointing those who care for me. I've overcome battles with myself. 
We've overcome battles with ourselves. Leading a march for kids that look up to us. We are leaders with more to come. We did, we did this just not for our school. We, we did, did this for ourselves. ourselves because we found passion to grow our voices, to make changes <laughs> in ourselves. Our school. Our world. And I always try to tell myself because I raise myself with God wings that soar. There's so many things I'm fighting and every day I'm trying to... Can anybody hear me? Why do I have to be a trooper? Family plus school, yet I don't get to show any weakness. I never imagined sometimes school would clip my wings, but if I express myself, <coughs> I'm complaining. Yet I have the power to fix my problems, but I need guidance. Too often, instead of giving a script to go by, told to be someone saying things I wouldn't. I'm tired of putting on a show. I'm beaten to my knees and expected to step back in line. When do I get to be divergent? Who do I come to? Some stranger who doesn't really know me? Someone who teaches me a fear of authority? We're run by strings. Puppets ruled not by only our demons in our past. Anger, bulimia. And those who can't reach inside to our hearts. And teach us more than what we see in history books. I can't escape from myself, and I can't escape from the problems I face at school, but honestly, should I even want to? I may be a student, student, but teach me how to have love for more than a letter grade. Show passion. You are the inspiration for us. Without guidance, we can't achieve our mission. We can't see the vision of who we can become, who we are becoming. School has become a roller coaster. At school, we're expected to focus solely on classes and homework. Then we go home and we're expected to focus solely on chores and life work. Seems like we're always against the wall. In this Cat 22, how do we become unpinned? If we aren't the students, the people you want us to be, does that mean we've sinned? Does that mean I've sinned? Does that mean I've sinned? But we can break out of the cliches of how school has always been done and make a difference. Just look at who we can be. Yes, I may have issues, scars that you can't see. We all do, but with each bit of inspiration we've got from the school, we can spread it hope among all of us. It's time to take the action and we are here to make the call. Look, look inside yourself and find the person you want to be. Dig deep and discover your identity. Let's break down every single wall. Walls of racism. Walls of sexism. Walls of mediocrity. Our voice is poetry. Some people try to understand things with big words and by me. Our compassion sets us free. Our voice is poetry. Some people try to understand things with big words and by me. Our compassion sets us free.